to another video on tech tips from CMM XYZ. Today, in this video, let's discuss how to align data objects using data to data alignment in Polyworks. This tool is useful when data objects are acquired in multiple device or path positions that are not aligned to each other. This technique is useful for reverse engineering where a physical part is digitized to a scanned data which can be later exported as a CAD model in different file formats. In this example, you can see that a pipe has been scanned multiple times from different positions by creating new scans for each path position. You can also observe that an alignment group is created from individual scans in the tree view. Now our objective is to align all the data objects to get a CAD model from the scan. To start the alignment, keep the two scans visible and hide the remaining scans. Now go to Align, Best Fit Data Objects and Data to Data Objects. Here we have two methods. First is align data objects which is used to align two data objects and the second is to globally optimize all the aligned data objects which is the last step in the process. Having pre-aligned using point pairs checked, select the data object to align which is mesh2 and select the fixed data object which is mesh1. Keeping all the parameters at default value press start. Note that the fixed object doesn't move while aligning. Fixed data objects will be on the left and the data objects to be aligned is displayed on the right view. Adjust both the views to a similar orientation. After adjusting the orientations, choose the endpoint pairs pre-alignment method and pick three minimum matching points on both data objects in the same order. However, it is recommended to take four to five points. Matching points are displayed using the same color and same number. Then click on align to align the data objects. Best fit is automatically performed after the pre-alignment. After the two data objects are aligned, close the best fit data to data object dialog and unhide the next scan that has to be aligned to the fixed object. Repeat the process for the next scans until all the scans are aligned to the fixed object. Use spacebar or 3D manipulation icon to rotate the display while taking points. And to delete the previously picked points, click on the middle wheel on the mouse or use the undo icon. In the tree view, you can observe that best fit to data alignment is added in the alignment groups. After the pre-alignment, again go to align, best fit object, data to data objects. Now select the globally optimized alignments method. This option is used to optimize the alignments between all the data objects using surface information. This is basically having one alignment for all the data objects. In Data Objects to Align, select All and click on Start to globally optimize the scans. You can now see in the tree view a global optimized alignment is added in the alignment groups. Next, we can select all the scan data, right click and export the aligned objects as a polygonal model. Select the required file format. Here, I am saving the scan data as an STL file to reverse engineer the part in CAD software. 
This was a video on data to data object alignment. Thank you for watching the video.